All right, what's going on YouTube? It's been a while, I know. Um, some quarantine issues ended up not being the way that we expected. My quarantine uh, ended up being a 14 day period rather than a six day period, uh, mainly being because I came from Iceland. Uh, the state of New York has a new mandate where anybody traveling from international countries must do a 14 day quarantine, uh, even though the Olympic Training Center here only required me to do a six day, but because we're based in New York, I also have to follow the New York state laws, which mandated that I do a 14 day period. So the quarantine was a lot longer. I uh, didn't do much filming while I was in quarantine, mainly because I wasn't doing much of anything, uh, but today I'm out, I'm free. Uh, so the process of what I did was uh, I was in the quarantine section of the building. This morning they told me that my quarantine was done and that I could move rooms. So I moved up to the normal housing area. I'm still going to be in a room by myself with no roommates. That's how everyone's going to be living here um, while we're all here at this period of time. So no roommates or anything, which means I've got two beds here, as you guys can see, uh, both are for me. Um, I'll show you guys the room in a little bit, but I uh, was able to go do some tests. Every test that I took uh, came back negative over that 14 day period. So what I did was I took a COVID test on day three that came back negative. I took another test after that um, and that also came back negative. And then I did a, an antibody test to see if I've ever had COVID before. And that also came back negative. So good news is I've never had COVID and I currently don't have COVID. So um, today, this morning, what I had to do was go do a blood test um, just to see if there's anything else going on. We always do a blood test at the beginning of every season just to kind of see um, certain markers markers for all the athletes where they're at um, and then now I'm done doing any of the testing that we've got going on and I was able to actually get into the weight room do some training today I did a little bit of everything so some squats some Olympic lifting some upper body work uh, and then that was pretty much gonna be it not a whole lot just because I haven't trained a ton over the last two weeks I was able to get outside for about an hour every day and do some track work and some sprints I had a sled was able to do some sled pulls here and there um, but wasn't able to do a ton of volume wasn't able to do my normal training routine so today was fairly light pretty easy getting back into things uh, the cleans was going to be at 125 kilos it was uh, like I said very light we did clean pulls into power cleans uh, five sets of one pull two cleans followed that up with some back squats at three sets of five at 190 to 205 kilos so what I did was my first set uh, was at 190 kilos then I bumped it up to 200 kilos and then my last set was 205 and felt extremely light I know I'm gonna be sore from that tomorrow so the plan was to kind of just go through the motions get the soreness out of the way um, try to build back up so Monday I can get back onto the sled and start pushing again and start feeling a little bit more normal kind of knock the rust off when it comes to pushing the sled and getting back in the groove of pushing with some of the guys um, so that was it good news is quarantine is now over I'm back to normal training which means I'm gonna be able to get more content more stuff up for the YouTube videos and for you guys on here so, so other than that before we get into the training sessions uh, I'll show you guys what a dorm room looks like here at the Olympic Training Center um, they're not super fancy as you can see I've got one bed there normally I would have a roommate which would be in this bed here and then we've got a little hallway and then right inside that door back there is the bathroom and then you guys can kind of see the setup that I have on this side of the room we got a TV we get a mini fridge dressers all the normal kind of stuff that you guys would have in a normal room so it's basically like a hotel room nothing super fancy but it has what you need um, the mini fridge so we can go to the grocery store and we can get some things that we want specifically for us and have that in there uh, I usually Amazon some like nitro cold brews or something just because the coffee here is generally not been the best uh, I like to have my own coffee set up here specifically for that uh, outside of that just waters snacks everything else is provided in the cafeteria for us here so let's quick run through the room welcome back to the YouTube videos the plan is I'm gonna get these up two to three times a week while I'm here uh, I'm not gonna be training every day just because we have to offset training sessions to make sure that every athlete has their time in the weight room so I'll be training Monday Wednesday Friday uh, and my plan is I'm gonna get one, two to th maybe all three of those sessions up on YouTube for you guys and then show you guys what it's like to be a bobsledder at the Olympic Training Center appreciate you guys watching the videos again make sure to like and subscribe other than that hope you guys enjoy the rest of the training